A new puppy can be an exciting and challenging experience with lots of new things to think about and do. There are many things to consider when bringing home a new puppy and one of these is how you need to groom them to keep them looking fresh and clean whilst maintaining and keeping an eye on their health. This can be an excellent bonding experience between you and your puppy. So in this video we'll take a deep dive into all you need to know about grooming your new Maltese puppy. Welcome back to the Fenrir Maltese Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload. If you've just had your new puppy or adopted a Maltese, it's important that you follow a grooming routine. This will help them stay happy and healthy and ensure they're looking the best they can be. Maltese can have both a short and long haired cut. The short haired cuts don't take much effort to keep looking small. It's important that you firstly brush your short haired Maltese with a bristle brush once a week. Long haired Maltese dogs should be brushed daily with a wire brush to ensure their coat doesn't get tangled. It's best if you dampen the fur down with a spray bottle as this will make the brush go through the fur easier and will also help clean the coat. You should always brush your dog's coat in the direction of the hair growth. This will make it pain free and will also help you get any shedding hair out easier. Maltese dogs are not known for their strong doggy smell, however they should be bathed every three to four weeks or if they get very dirty on a walk, especially in winter. Maltese with short haired cuts should go to the groomers when you notice their hair getting longer for a haircut to keep their coat looking in the best condition. You can choose from four different cuts which are the puppy cut, the Korean cut, the teddy bear cut and the three layered cut. Although this is more for longer haired Maltese and an additional option of a top knot on the top of their heads can be chosen too. Maltese dogs with long hair should go to the groomers approximately every four to six weeks for a trim or style. It's important that you buy a good quality dog shampoo as a lot of Maltese do have sensitive skin. It's best to buy an organic or hypoallergenic dog shampoo. Never use human shampoo on any dog as the shampoo made for us has different pH that will irritate a dog's skin. Always make sure you wash your dog's undercarriage, legs, paws and tail. You should wash their face with a flannel and never put the hose or water directly over their face. When you're bathing your Maltese it's a good idea to brush them first before bathing as this will stop the bathtub or shower from getting blocked up with hair. It's always a good idea to check your Maltese's mouth, eyes and ears weekly. Many things can be discovered from a dog's ears. For example, if they have any allergies, the inside of your dog's ears may look very red and be warm to touch. You'll find that dogs tend to get more ear infections than other animals. It's important that as soon as you notice any issues with your dog's ears or your dog is itching its ears or shaking its head a lot, it could be a sign of an ear issue. Some symptoms to look out for with ear infections include an odour, any discharge in their ears, redness, head shaking, your dog may rub their ears on the floor or other surfaces for relief and they may scratch their ears a lot more than normal. If you notice any discharge in the ear you should remove it by dipping cotton balls into some warm water or ear solution. Never use any q-tips to clean their ears as this will likely push the wax further into the ear or burst the eardrum and it can cause harm. You should also check out your dog's eyes regularly too as this can tell you about potential health issues. For example if you notice that their eye whites have turned yellow this can be a sign of jaundice or liver disease. If your dog's eyes look cloudy this can be a sign of cancer, an autoimmune disease, diabetes, infection, trauma or cataracts. You should always keep your Maltese eyes clean, remove any eye discharge or wipe around the eyes gently if they have watery eyes to prevent staining under the eye area. Another area to check is your dog's mouth. You should encourage your puppy from a young age to let you open their mouth and look. This will get them comfortable with you looking and feeling inside the mouth area. This will also help if you need to take something that they are chewing out of their mouth too. You can also tell a lot from a dog's mouth. For example, if they have pale or white looking gums, it could be a sign of anemia. If your dog ever has pale gums, you should seek veterinary care straight away. It's important to keep your Maltese teeth clean. Puppies start with 28 teeth and during the age of six to seven months they'll start to get their 42 adult teeth. Teething for puppies can be a difficult time for both you and your puppy so it's a good idea to buy some teething gel to help with the process. This will also help them get used to things in their mouth. Your Maltese should have their teeth cleaned twice a week to stop plaque and tartar from building up. This will also stop your dog from having bad breath. You should use a dog toothpaste that can be sourced from any pet store or various online retailer. Some will come with a finger toothbrush for you to use but you can also use a new human toothbrush just make sure they don't swallow any of the bristles. The last area you should check for good grooming is the paws. You should be checking your Maltese paws every few days to make sure there are no issues with their pads. During summer and winter times particularly in snowy times you should ensure you wash your dog's paws after every walk. This is because of grit. 
Grit that's spread on the roads and pavements can really harm your dog's paws. It should always be washed off and a paw balm can be used to create a protective barrier for their pads. It will also help your dog's paws during hot weather when walking on pavements in early mornings or evenings when it's cooler, as dogs shouldn't be walked in the day in hot weather. It's a good idea to use a paw balm weekly anyway. Paw balms will stop pads from cracking and becoming dry and tender and it will keep their pads moisturised, soft and healthy. You should make sure that the hair between your Maltese pads is kept short. If it's left to grow, it can become very dirty and can cause infections. The last thing to ensure your Maltese paws are properly groomed is to ensure their nails are trimmed monthly. If you don't trim their nails frequently, they will become overgrown. Overgrown nails can cause issues with your dog's lap pain, but it also puts pressure on your canine's paws and legs, which can change their posture. When you hear your dog's claws tapping on the floor when they're walking, then it's time to get them trimmed. If you're trimming them yourself, don't take off too much nail as they do have nerves and blood vessels in their claws. It's very important that you maintain your Maltese grooming to ensure they are healthy and happy canines. It's also a great way for you to bond with your canine. Getting your puppy comfortable with having their paws, ears and mouths touched and inspected not only helps the bond with you, but also makes them comfortable if they take a trip to the groomers or have to visit the veterinarian. If you follow these grooming requirements, you can find issues early and get help for your Maltese before these issues become serious health conditions. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down in the comments section below. And don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have three dedicated Maltese videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Maltese Show.